Welcome to the session of Remote Sensing and GIS. In semester 5, we are going to study this subject which is basically and purely related to the space technology. Till now, in the previous semester, you have heard the name of Remote Sensing and GIS also in your previous semester 4 and also in the semester number 1 that is in the Modern Tools and Technologies module, right? But in this semester, we are going to technically see that how is this technology helpful in our civil engineering. Right, student? So, let's discuss in detail that what is this subject dealing with basically. So, here, the very first module is related to the fundamental of remote sensing. Now, what is remote sensing actually? Let me discuss that in detail. Remote sensing means what? Without coming into the contact, you can get the information on the earth surface. That phenomenon is known as remote sensing. Means without touching anything, if you get the information through the technology is known as remote sensing. Right? Yes, I guess you are clear with it. So this whole technology how would it deal with our field of construction that for example without coming into the contact how can i get the information and what it will be helpful to me yes let's see in detail that what does it actually mean and how does it deals with in our field why are we studying this subject basically right let's see in this module this module basically is all about what is remote sensing but we are going into technical terms that what is remote sensing what are sensors what are data how is data captured right so let's discuss in detail the very first process that is the elementary process of remote sensing the very basic process of remote sensing now you can see here look at to the presentation background a rocket is moving around the surface, around the globe, that is around the earth, and you can see it is capturing some data. So what is that? And why are we doing that? See, there is one satellite is also revolving. Look to it, you can see the satellite is also revolving. Stars is there, planet is there, right? And we are taking the information, something towards like this. So let's discuss that in detail, basically. The very first thing is what? We need to understand that is what is remote sensing. First of all, let me tell you what is natural remote sensing. What do you mean by natural remote sensing? Now, you, yourself, your eye, your brain is also a part of remote sensing itself. But how? Let's discuss in detail. When you see any object, or anything in front of your eyes, your eyes is sending a rays, right? We are not touching immediately towards that object, but we are looking with our eyes. So eyes will send the rays to that object, so it can be visible. After that, it will be sending the information to the brain that what is that object is. Maybe a glass or a bottle, I am giving you an example, or a book on a table. And after that, analysis by brain, I will take out the information that is it a book or a bottle or a table or what it is. So this is what is natural remote sensing. Without touching any object, you can get the information is known as natural remote sensing. So similar way, we are going to learn about technically what is remote sensing. Now look at the figure which I have shown here. You can see there is one image. My eyes is working at sensor and it is sending some rays to the image. After that, my mind is doing the analysis and after that, I am doing the analysis of the received information that is it a picture of a boy or a girl, for example. Now, what I said, my eyes, your eyes are remote sensors. So there are various remote sensors available. What are they called? In your mobile phone, you have a camera that is also one type of remote sensor. Right? Your eye is working as a remote sensor. There is a binoculars that also send rays and we receive the information that is also remote sensors. Right? 
so this is how it works even ear works as your sensor because by the rays of sound it going to analyze that what sound is it without coming into the contact of it that is known as again the remote sensor right you all know the doppler effect doppler effect what was that in physics from far away the noise comes and that goes to your ears and you can make it out that what is the noise of so your ears are also working as a remote sensor ears are somewhere else and the things are coming sound is coming from somewhere somewhere else so that is a remote sensing process right so now let's discuss in detail what is remote sensing if you are reading this sentence if you were seeing the image show without touching here then that process is simply called as what remote sensing so what i said your eye is working as remote sensing as a remote sensor right so this is the elementary process of remote sensing that without coming into the contact with just the visual information towards mind and then we are deciding is the elementary process of remote sensing of a human being so we the human being are what remote sensor we are using the technology since our birth but we haven't used this for the technical terms now let's see in detail technical remote sensing means what the very first definition i would like to tell you here the science of acquiring information about the earth using instrument which are not which are remote to the earth surface usually from aircraft space satellite which uses visible light infrared radar to obtain the data right what my point here the instrument is in remote place and you are taking the information that is known as what technically remote sensing means without coming into the contact you are getting all the information now look at the image of artificial remote sensing that is the technical portion what i want to tell you about this starting module so you can see here i have a object that is earth i have a sensor you can see there is a sensor the some image is been shown that is called as a sensor that sensor is sending some information to the earth and it is been captured by the analysis and the data stored into the software which is related to this and then i am extracting the knowledge from the software that what does it mean what is its important this is known as technically remote sensing look at the image which is moving of the earth you can see that how is it how the sensor is moving and it is capturing the data this is how remote sensing works this is the earth satellite is moving around it is capturing the information which is stored in somewhere that is the antennas and that antennas will extract the information into the softwares for this technology and i am extracting the information for it which is known as remote sensing this is the technical term and definition you have to remember this definition and this is how natural and artificial remote sensing goes on i guess now the student the concept of remote sensing is very clear to you because you have to make yourself clear in understanding the process of remote sensing otherwise you will not be able to understand the future part of this module right so without coming into the contact the system is somewhere else and you are taking the information that is known as remote sensing right i am sending somewhere else but i am taking i am sending the rays from my eyes to that object taking the information to my mind and then i am doing the analysis is known as technically remote sensing i am repeating this because you have heard remote sensing word but in this subject we are going to go in detail that's why right now let's go in detail again what is remote sensing right first one it is the science and art of acquiring information about the earth surface actually being without in contact with it right what is next it is done by sensing or recording or reflected or emitted energy and processing and analyzing the information 
and lastly remote sensing technique is similar to mathematics using sensors to measure the amount of electromagnetic energy and actually provide us the valuable data for major analysis enhancing the development of nation so basically this technology now you can make it out i have done here in a very simple language so you can understand that basically this is all been done this whole technology is very useful for the development of our nation right so you can see you have uh, you might have seen here the new words that is electromagnetic radiation sensor right so basically remote sensing is whole like what you deal with your math subject right so math is what is related to remote sensing and you have to know as how much energy is gained what it can be done because with the gained energy only we are going to do the analysis the energy which is gained from the instrument is known as acquiring information of earth surface this is why the background of the slide you can see is earth is rotating satellite is rotating and we are getting the information but anything without coming into the physical contact of it this is what is remote sensing now look into the figure what i would like to show see the sensor means what the substance the instrument which is absorbing the information which is gaining the information is known as sensor see the waves the energy is sent my eyes are sending the energy similarly the sensor is the object who is sending the energy to the object which i want to see which i want to analyze is known as what sensor an object is sensed without coming into the contact but by sending what by sending the energy which is known as electromagnetic radiation you are very much aware of electromagnetic radiation students because you have studied in physics also and you know this term because in school grade also you have studied about electromagnetic radiation we have whole of the spectrum and we have the various various frequencies which is divided and according to that we are dealing with this subject that which frequency is telling us what right so this is how now look at to the first image which is showing that rays are coming it is interacting with the object and it is going back again what is that again it is sending us some information and we are acquiring that information so this is about whole remote sensing now you can have a idea that human senses to the idea of remote sensing so basically human can identify the object without coming into the contact but by how by my eyes you can see that without coming into the contact i can hear that is my ear right ear is also working as very much sensing my eyes my ears that both are working as human sensors which help me to detect the information so the senses of human being developed the concept of what remote sensing if my ears can identify the noise the voice right and so called my eyes can send the energy and identify the object and that is what is the elementary meaning of remote sensing and i guess it is very clear to you because i have tried to explain you in a very simple language that what is remote sensing when you are very clear with this concept then only you are going to understand the other fundamental concepts of this module and i guess and i hope you are 100% clear with the only simple term of remote sensing without coming into the contact is working as remote sensing simple my eyes are remote sensor your eyes are remote sensor your ears are remote sensor my ears are remote sensors and similarly now we are going to talk about this technology that how it helps in our technical field thank you